This is the offset screen. The first column represents the tool number. The default condition of the control requires that the H code and T code agree. That is, tool 7 must have offset 7 applied to it in the offset table. A separate value is entered for the tool length or Z axis offset and the cutter radius compensation value. The geometry offset and wear offset values are added together by the control when the offset is applied. Normally, the geometry offset is entered when the tool is installed initially. It describes the tool's dimensions for the control. As a tool wears during machining, the wear offset should be adjusted to maintain part dimensions. The way in which an offset value is entered into the table is determined by which key is used, either the F1 key or the right key. Begin by placing the cursor on the tool offset value to be entered or changed using the cursor keys. If the current wear value is zero, enter the adjustment amount and sign on the keypad. Pressing the F1 key will cause the actual value entered on the keypad to appear in the offset table. If an existing value was there, it will be replaced by the new value. To enter a new value with a negative sign, enter the offset value on the keypad with no sign and then press the F2 key. The value entered on the keypad will then appear with a minus sign.